what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. And welcome back to another episode of Design with Adobe XD. My name is Michael Wong and in this episode I'm going to show you how to mask a photo and how to fill an object with a photo to create better background images. So let's take a quick look at this design. So we're halfway through but we think it looks a little bit bland. So what I want to do is I want to create a nice dark background colour and then overlay a photo on top of it. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and click on our artboard. Let's head over to our property inspector, under appearance, we can click the fill to select a custom colour, or we can hit the eyedropper and I dropped a colour. So I think a navy blue looks quite nice, looking good. Now what I want to do is I want to mask a photo. So let's head over to the rectangle tool and let's draw the masking area. So there we go. So what I want to do is I want to mask my background photo within this shape. So there we go. Let's go ahead and grab our photo. So once you've got your photo, simply click and drag the photo into Adobe XD. As we have it, so simply click the photo and bring it over your shape. By holding down shift on your keyboard, you can also click on the rectangle underneath it and this will select both layers. Head over to object in your tool menu and then click mask with shape. There we go. And there you see, you can now mask your photo however you want within this shape. Looking good. So what we need to do is we need to click on the mask, bring it below the content, and we can drop down the opacity to maybe around 30%. And there we have it, looking very, very nice. So that's the first method of masking a shape. So the second method technically is not a mask, it is simply filling an object with a photo. So let's go ahead and let me show you how that's done. So we'll delete the mask. So let's go ahead and grab the rectangle tool once again and then draw the area we want the photo to sit within. There we go. Let's grab our photo. And instead of dropping the photo within Adobe XD, let's drop it onto the object itself. And as you can see, this will automatically fill the object with the photo. This is great because whenever we resize this shape, the photo will always sit nicely within it. So let's go ahead and drag the layer beneath the content and then set it back down to 30% or you can hit 3 on your keyboard. And there we have it. Now we just need to bring out the colours on the text. You can hit Command if you're on a Mac or you can hit Control if you're on a Windows device to direct select this layer. Head over to your fill, change it to white, and then once again, direct select the, these icons and bring them to white. So if you have any questions about masking or object fills, which also referred to as auto masking, don't forget to ask in the comments below. If you did find this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and also subscribe. I will see you in another video very soon.